How popular is Formula One? The history of the broadcast of Formula One is more interesting than that of most sports. Just three years on from the inception of F1, the 1953 British Grand Prix was the first race to be broadcast live on television. But overall, between 1950 and 1980, very few races were shown live. I don't want. I don't want. It was not until 1996 that every race of the season was broadcast live on the BBC. Given who the driver's champion was that year, it is very appropriate that this, the 50th season, was accessible to British audiences in this way. The popularity of the sport grew and viewing figures rose as F1 was broadcast in more and more territories. But in the late 2000s, F1 began to take a turn. And no, I am not talking about him. From 2008 to 2016, Formula One lost around 200 million viewers, a third of its total. This was likely a result of the years of dominance by Red Bull and Mercedes, and the move to the turbo hybrid engines. But something else had happened. In the UK, and in other countries where the sport enjoyed high popularity, there was a move to pay-per-view broadcast. Many casual viewers were put off, and unsurprisingly the ratings fell. A string of particularly dull seasons certainly did not help. There is, though, light at the end of the tunnel. According to Formula1.com, 2019 saw a 7% increase in ratings of live races, and the overall unique viewers remained stable at 405 million. In the context of the entire sporting world, F1 figures are very admirable. The cumulative audience of the Premier League's live programming sits at a massive 1.35 billion people. For F1 to have nearly a third of the number of viewers that the world's most popular sports league has is quite an achievement. Since the takeover by Liberty Media, the extended social media coverage has improved dramatically, with multiple videos being uploaded to the Formula One YouTube channel every week. This social media success is ironic, considering that Bernie Eccleston never believed it would work for the sport. With Formula One's viewing figures starting to slowly improve, and social media coverage coming to the fore, it seems that the sport has a bright future.